Each feather has its own unique color information. Each feather has its own unique movement. Before we start animating, the first step is to create the individual assets for each feather. Here's the asset for the single feather we're going to create. Each feather will be individually created. We'll end up with a feather that is super textured. Once we've got this asset, we gotta lay it out on our model in a nice pattern. Each feather section possesses its distinct length and positioning. We must rationally arrange the placement of our feather sections to create a visually appealing feather form. Since each feather has numerous small hairs, they all require animation together. Therefore, we convert this single feather into a mesh. Then we'll use the cloth system to calculate. The shapes of feather contours are indeed diverse. Different positizens and types of feathers exhibit a wide range of shapes, and their orientations are diverse. Some feathers grow upward, some downward. Occasionally, it intertwines to create a mature appearance. While in certain spots the feathers grow in a very orderly manner. Follow my course to learn more about feather creation.